Do you hate studying? Me too. So instead of reviewing code syntax for the hundredth time, I built a wind turbine. Hello, my name is Trevor and welcome to project 10 on my journey to 52 projects in 2025. Today, we're building a miniature wind turbine. Will this save the planet? No. Will it make me feel better about not studying? Absolutely. For context, we've all been there before. A few weeks ago, I told myself I was going to study. Now there's 48 hours until my coding exam. This is a problem for somebody who spends all day 3D modeling and not coding. So my solution? Wind turbine. But like, what, what do I mean by a wind turbine? I mean, I'm going to 3D model and program, emphasis on the program, a miniature wind turbine in the next two days. So where do we even start? by stealing my friend's idea, because he did a similar project a few months ago. He is very clever and knows that you can turn a motor into a generator by simply spinning the shaft. Normally, a motor takes electricity to rotate. However, we can reverse this process and rotate the shaft to generate energy. Ever nudge your 3D printer and the screen lights up? Same principle, motors can become generators. Great, but where do we even go from here? Just slap a blade on the motor and call it a day? Yeah, almost. However, in this setup, the current goes nowhere. That is, until we connect the motor's positive wire to an analog pin on an Arduino and the negative to ground. Now we can read the energy created, <clears throat> generated. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. First, we need a 3D model. I sit down, crack open SolidWorks, and stare at the screen, and realize I know nothing about wind turbine design. Crap. I tell myself, 20 minutes to learn the basics. No need to become an expert. Tower, generator, blades, the three basic components. The first two are simple, but the third needs a little more detail. Three blades for efficiency, angle each blade at 15-ish degrees, make blades this shape. Cool, now into SolidWorks. A few weeks ago, I made this personal space loving robot, Stevie. Stevie had an accident, which is where the electronics came from. We're also recycling his Arduino mount and CAD. I extrude a tower with a slot for a motor, design a hub, use the rotational pattern to slot three angled cuts for the blades, create the blades, make an assembly, done. Now we print. Yay! I ran the prints overnight, so we've cooked a lot of time, but it's finally assembly time. All right, we got our fins, we got the base, well, we got the, the fin base, and then the base base, anyways. This should all be pretty easy to assemble. We have the electronics here. Now I'm adding a breadboard, which we haven't talked about because we're ignoring that for now, but we do add some additional components later. These blades, they're gonna click in here like that. A quick spin test and we hook the electronics up. If we plug directly into the five volt and ground, we can make the motor spin. Yeah, there we are. Normal motor stuff. But again, the goal is to do the reverse and create a generator. To do this, wind is used to spin the prop. Prop spins the shaft, this generates energy. Then the Arduino is used for monitoring. And with that, it's time to code. I read a quick Arduino sketch that reads values from the analog pin. The Arduino reads on a zero to 1023 scale. This is then mapped to a zero to five volt scale. With this voltage, and knowing the motor's KV rating, we can estimate RPM. We're on a time crunch, and I think I did everything right, but if you're some wicked physicist, uh, let me know how I did in the comments. Anyways, let's spice things up. Add an LCD screen, add a button to switch between readouts. Now we can display max speed, voltage, and average speed. And just like that, we have a mini 3D printed wind turbine with plenty of time to spare. Turbine in hand, I head outside. Time to see how much energy this guy can generate. Not very windy today. Whatever, we just turn to our backup plan, stumble back inside, and find an AC unit. Here, it generates about a volt of electricity, which isn't enough to power a small LED. Sad day. But oh well. What's important is that I learned something. Wind turbines are way more fun than exam prep. Motors are sneaky little generators when you treat them right. And maybe most importantly, we learned to turn this procrastination into productivity by working on our coding skills like using if statements and arrays. Was I supposed to be reviewing structs, working with files and sorting algorithms? Possibly. But hey, wind turbine. 
Anyways, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Hopefully, if you too are procrastinating, you at least learned something. If you want to see more engineering chaos and questionable time management, consider subscribing. Project 10 down, 42 more to go. I hope to see you in the next one, but for now, good luck with your own projects.